एवरीवन वेलकम टू द डेट ऑफ ट्वेल्थ ऑफ जून वन गुड न्यूज टू स्टार्ट विद द ऑफिशियल इन्फ्लेशन नंबर है स्कूल डाउन टू फोर पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट अ ट्वेल्व मंथ लो दिस इन सम वेज पेव द वे फॉर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स कट द इंडस्ट्री एंड द स्टॉक मार्केट्स वुड लव इट हाउर दिस इज नॉट समथिंग विच वॉज टोटली अनएक्सपेक्टेड इट जस्ट दैट दिस इज अ पब्लिश नंबर अ लो नंबर फॉर द सी पी आई एफ आई एस डी आईज आर बोथ नेट बायर्स बट अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट टू थर्टी थ्री करोड़ एंड फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स करोड़ दिस इज अ पेल्ट्री अमाउंट कम्पेयर टू वॉट दे डू डेली पर एप्स द मैसेज इज दैट द मार्केट्स आर नाउ ओवर सेचुरेटेड एंड दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू बाय फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म दे आर हैप्पी टू ट्रेड दैट रिफ्लेक्ट इन द हाई सेल वैल्यू एंड बाय वैल्यू विच आर स्टिल इन द थर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर्टीन थाउजेंड करोड काइंड ऑफ रेंज फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई डी आई एज विल हैव न्यू मनी दे विल बी नेट बायर्स अगेन दिस हावर कैन नॉट बी अ नेवर एंडिंग स्टोरी मोस्ट ऑफ द रिटेल पीपल आर गॉन अ गेट रॉब्ड ऑफ देयर मनी वन डे when markets will crash the 8% crash was actually just a preview since the markets recovered in 2 3 days it actually strengthened the belief of retail that they can continue to buy markets are only gonna go up this will be a costly bubble when it bursts i am working on a new automation project right now to get that data i realized one thing while seeing the data that airtel now is at number 4 it has dethroned icici bank also hindustan unilever is at number 8 ITC is now at number नाइन So I'll have to update my dashboards also. This is not the graph for today. This is the graph for yesterday. Nifty went up, then went down. VIX was down. The reason I haven't removed is I want to show you that today was not very different in terms of pattern. Markets went up, consolidated, and then went down. Today VIX movement was contrary to the market movement. It was reducing when markets are going up, and it was reducing again when markets were going down. Today was a bank expiry. HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, they were pretty volatile. Reliance was volatile as well. It closed 0.5 percent up, but at one time it was nearly 0.91 percent up. No respite for the IT pack. TCS down, Infosys down. This is the third continuous day of IT pack consolidating with a downward bias. The cuts also are not small. 0.5 percent, 0.7 percent. for large companies like tcs and infosys are huge gold was up today 0.72% up 72000 reclaimed silver above 90000 brent up a bit bitcoin around 67000 apple was up 7.3% the event seems to have gone well with the investing community nvidia cooled down a bit 0.7% overall snp was up 0.27% nasdaq was up nearly 1% indian markets nifty 0.25% up bank nifty 0.4% up nifty it was not down but it was not up either 0.05% is a very small number nifty energy continues to rock fifth continuous day of being green 1% gain sectoral indices 21 sectors up compared to 25 yesterday oil and gas was up most 21% contribution followed by banking 20% contribution construction materials continues to rock cement pack has been on fire ever since the elections ended machinery equipment also rocked today 15% contribution the markets were pulled down by it down 18.4% personal household products continues to sell percent contribution on the downside let's check the key sectors aerospace and defense up 1% bl 1.5% grse 3% data patterns 2% automobiles mixed day mnm cool down 1.7% banking axis was down so was kotak but the remaining stocks were up the sector was up 0.5% coal india up construction pack these are very large companies especially lnt nearly 1% up so was rvnl this sector will have lot of volatility ahead of the budgets construction materials the adani pack was up today so was ultra tech construction can't happen without steel and cement again this sector will continue to rock it will be volatile it will go down also when markets correct severely power pack adani companies were down a bit today but ntpc was up power grid was up consumption pack has been correcting since the elections ended investment banking companies have been going up significantly it started with motyal oswal perhaps the bonus shares are still not credit i today saw that the sla is up to 15 days for the bonus shares to be credited which is insane siemens abb both were up 2.5% metals hindustan zinc cooled a bit but all other players were up oil and gas the complete sector was up today half percent to 1% oil india 2% castrol 2.5% castrol is in no mood to slow down it is going up 2 3% every day pharma mostly up half percent Real estate came under a bit of pressure. Selective stocks were down. Softer and IT was mixed bag, but since TCS Infosys were down, the overall sector was down. Telecom Indus Tower came under a bit of pressure, but Bharti and Vodafone were up. Nifty Fifty today maximum contribution came from Reliance, Coal India, Power Grid, HDFC Bank. 
they were taking the index up. What was bringing the index down? TCS, HUL, Mahindra and Mahindra, Infosys, Titan. Titan has been a kind of underperformer of late. It is roughly in the middle of the 52 week low high zone. Today's selective stocks had good volumes like HCL, Tata Motors. But again, most of the stocks had 50% kind of volumes only. Even Reliance had 55% volumes compared to usual ones. This is a big sign of market cooling down in general. The prices may still go up, but retail participation or FIDI participation, the overall volumes have been diminishing since last few days. Next 50 also, the volumes are pretty low. Only 3-4 stocks had more than 100% volumes. What was up? Ambuja, Bank of Badoda, Trent, Siemens, ABB. Cholamandalam is up one day, down one day. What was down today? Pidilite 3%, Marico, Zomato, United Spirits, Indigo, Adani Greens. 30 stocks in the 80 to 100% zone. The stocks in the 0 to 50% zone are even less now. Just 4 stocks. Adani Wilmer, SBI Cards, Berger, SRF. IT Index, TCS and Infosys were down. Everything else was up. Nifty Energy, Adani Green was down. Rest everything was up. Banks again shallow volumes 50 to 75 percent for most banks, including for public sector. In PSUs, all stocks were up. The biggest were Bank of Baroda and Central Bank. In private banks, the top five six had very low changes. How did my trades do today? I didn't buy or sell stocks. I bought a single silver ETF for the first time. I'm just trying it out. Let's see how it goes. The idea is that some profit will go into ETF for long term. I want to diversify a bit from gold into silver also. This is the Nifty chart for three days. I want to show a few things here. On 10th of June, if you disregard the opening part, the Nifty went up and cooled down nearly around the same levels was the closure. On 11th, again up, down, closure was approximately same levels. Today, again, markets opened with a gap up. They did not come down to the same levels but they closed around the same levels as opening yet again nearly. So this was a bit of a up move. How the pattern is inverted U, which means markets are doing a significant correction these days. One more thing, last few weeks I was talking about a pattern that after 130, the markets change directions. This is changing now. Markets went up after 130, but immediately crashed. Here also at 130, markets went up, immediately crashed. Today around 130 again, markets went up a little and then crashed. Now this is just a pattern. It may or may not repeat tomorrow. So this is the graph for today. A gap up opening immediately cooled down a bit. Then continuously up till about 10 o'clock. After that came consolidation. Again a range. Then after that markets fell. Consolidated a very little time. Went up. Long crash. In three candles the index was down nearly 100 points. After that slow correction towards the end, there was no recovery today after 3 o'clock. Few data points, 23,500 right now is a strong resistance zone for Nifty. It is very hard for Nifty to cross this level. However, Nifty tried to go past 425 and 450 several times today. It could not succeed. So roughly 425 to 450 is a strong resistance zone for Nifty as of now. On a volatile day, especially when there is a news, for example, today if the market really like the CPI inflation data cool down, then these kind of resistances are pack of cards. They can get blown away. Now for trading, 375 to 425 this is a range today so nifty was spending significant time in this 50 point range for nifty i've zoomed out a bit this was a 4th of june crash after that market continuously went up now they are consolidating this seems a very small zone compared to from where we are coming if markets were to correct there is a huge potential to fall 21,500 approximately. There is no resistance literally till the point of 4th of June. This is the problem when markets go up continuously. My options trade, I change my strategy significantly today. The top four trades are what is called scalping. These are rapid trades with the flow of the market going with the trend. All four are green net profit of around 6500 actually 6000 if you discount the charges i continue to hold the positions from yesterday i've increased only the positions for tomorrow from 125 to 250 let's check how they are doing so these are the options that will expire tomorrow at this point where we are the projected profit for tomorrow is 14000 profit which is the max profit as long as nifty does not go beyond this point 
the positions will be profitable. Let's check the monthly option now. The expiry day profit at the same levels will be 10,500, not the max profit. So again, as long as the Nifty does not go above 23,390, or 23400 we are good here as well a day of drastic changes for me no major fno positions taken very less lots this is actually how trade should be now you might be wondering 5000 7000 profit is not much so the idea is that if you want more profit you need to invest more capital you don't have to take more risk so i have invested about 50 60000 here 10% profit is around 6000 is what you are seeing if i was to increase this amount to say 5 lakh the 10% profit will become 50,000. So idea is that you will get 2-3%, 5%, maybe 10% depending upon the risk you are taking in that trade by being an option seller. But you involve a larger amount as you get more confidence and you make more money per month. In fact, from tomorrow, I think I will take even longer positions which means nifty i'll take levels which are very hard to scale so the probability of profit will increase further however the percentage of profit will come down significantly i am okay with two three percent profit in a week or maybe in a month also on the invested capital in a month also three percent will average to 36 percent per annum which is a fantastic number now, tomorrow markets could go three ways if the markets go up then i'll book profits on the stocks i didn't sell anything today Markets could consolidate, which means I'll still make money on the options trade expiry tomorrow, the weekly one. If markets go down, I'll make money on the options trade and I'll buy a few more stocks. So I tend to have strategy for all three market moves possibly. It is not necessary to make money every day. There are days when you invest and there are days when you book profits. In the parallel, I'm also working on the strategy for the budget season and also for the result season. I'll keep you posted once I have something concrete. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.